Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. Like I promised, tuko na show nzito sana na leo tutataka kudiscuss swala nyeti. Tutataka kudiscuss <laughs> national issues. And our guest for this particular episode is a former rastaman, Alinyo Andrea. PNG is in the house. <laughs> Eh na pressure na kokei show man karibu sana nimekuwa nikiona youtube na tesa karibu karibu kuna swali moja umeona ugonga meza hivi hiyo ndio story nataka kuongelea kwa show ya leo yes yes it was banging sasa yes bro eh niko na story mom sana za kuongea na before before tufike kwa subject ya show which is a Eh, inaitwaje punguza yes. punguza you will get to tell us more about punguza okay. niko na maswali najua vile mimi usema hatuwezi samehewa kama sijauliza okay. ini curious one for me eh, one of the issues mko brand for the longest time but one of the issues ni when, when oh, pole ku bring ya api ni when you broke up ama divorce mm -hmm. kitambo there was a statement you made there's a statement you made yeah eh, you broke up with a woman with a dark heart Uh, initwaje a dark heart na personality ya DJ CT <laughs> alafu alafu hapo chini uh -huh. ukasema you wish ama unaweza date them ana score one out of ten uh, kwa beauty but akona golden heart si ndio yes hiyo rating one out of ten <laughs> one out of ten hiyo uh -huh. scale ya one, one to ten you talk up i think ni venye sasa tunaangalia ng beauty uh, I think the mistake we make as dudes to nangalenga beauty kama it's the external out, or outward appearance of a person. So okay. uh, but you know most of the times we are attracted to women. Dudes this water. Ni sima boy yani hata wewe. So tunangalenga dem kama dem ameiva unaende o dem but we don't take time kuangalia un dem wena gani what are her values you know ni nini you appreciate Uh, Sazile ame jam yo react aje sasile amekatsika ame is she a forgiving person vitu kama hizo so i think you know what i was trying to say is that personality uh, is you know for me uh, ranks higher than than outward uh, appearance based uh -huh. on that particular experience that i had jo dem alikuwa chuma boss akwa meiva speak all me no dem unajua mimi kwa mevai ile kuiva ile kuiva najua ni over 18 hiyo uh -huh. ingine uh -huh. kwa mevai father ingia tu google search pale Okupe wewe urudi hapo. Ah nakwambia wewe. Unaenda unaenda kufanya research. Vuda lango check check. Eh? Sawa, uko na initiative poa sana ya safe sex. Yeah. But ni ni conversation uncomfortable sana and I think nitasema nitapea na example moja. Honorable Boyester Pasaris alikuwa on the spot juice because alisema mtu wake ame yeye alimweka kwa contraceptives. Yeah. Uh, akiwa in her teenage years mm -hmm. akiwa mdogo hivyo mdogo kabisa do you think that's a conversation what we could ready kuanza i think first you know as as a kenyan state we are uh, obviously you know very um you know we're traditionalistic we're conservative so you know it's the african nature kuna zile vitu wezi wezi ongea na mzae yani haezi kuambia ama let's say hata kama ni madhako haezi kuambia you know straight up So you know I think uh, sex is 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 taking place but as you've said it's it's Twitter a very Twitter packages, Twitter packages computer packages computer packages <laughs> okay is it computer na, packages so my IT so my so my IT ah IT bas na powerpoint <laughs> eh, so he so my IT ni uncomfortable sana kwa sababu unapata ndio mzazi azizungumzia so the big question is so as young people tunapata wapi your information No, no. So to Lika Shifsana is the Pasaris uh, because of that I think you know on online it was a big deal and everybody was talking about it but don't you think that it's you know it's a better direction to take rather than you know her sitting back and say I wish I would I okay. wish I had when let's say perhaps god forbid you know that teenager goes and says you know what mom I'm expecting yes you understand uh, yes so the reality is that our teenagers wana pasu IT sana IT na wabamba internet inashika unaelewa okay. wifi iko free ah, ah. sasa 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 <laughs> wewe 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 we. uh, no we uh, our audience is filled with sinners <laughs> so you'll, you'll bear with us as we continue hmm. niko hapo kwa eh, ukiangalia hii concept yote wewe ni musician why why should you we mbona we ufanye punguza mzigo na si mzigo Pungu. Sorry by then I go close sana na yeah. ya politics. Mm. Pungu hii ni punguza peke yake. Hiyo kitu kingine ujijazie. So hii initiative unafanya sai mm. kuambia wa responsibility. Yeah. 
Alafu msi kama wewe una come from a background ya Kuhu music. Mm. Eh, hey, uko na ngoma fulani naimba maisha ni yangu. Eh, uh, hiyo. Eh. Hey. Ni nini nyingine tena ni yangu vile unataka? Mwelekeo, mwelekeo. Mwelekeo ni wangu. Mm. Eh. Hey. So unaambia nini msi alishaski hiyo ngoma aka mwewe mwelekeo ni yake yani. You know, don't forget there's there's a very big difference between like entertainment and real life. A lot, yeah. a lot of people um, are caught up in the hype. Don't forget that this is a, it's a job. It's like you're a carpenter. You can't go home and you can't go home. You can't go home. So, you're like, basically admitting that you don't get to go home. No, you don't get to go home. There's entertainment. So, you feed, you feed your, your audience with what they want to, to hear, what they want to listen to. Uh, we do the same with, with film. We do the same with uh, radio, television. But you don't get to go home and you can't go home. No, not really. It's entertainment. That's why it's called entertainment or show business. It's a show. You know what? Like, ukiona msani, ame, ameenda, ame, ame piga gym, ame panda stage, ame tuwa shati. Ivo sisi vinye, yo anga, like, akitembea tao. Others atakuwa muenda, wazimu, si vinye. Yes, yes, yes. So there's a difference between on stage, or on air, and, and on screen. Okay. So, so I think why, you know, I decided to do it is because nobody else is talking about it. People are afraid of having this uncomfortable conversation. They okay. have no fear. Uh, you know, I'm a very courageous person. And, you know, it's really uh, disappointing to see some of the statistics, like real crazy statistics uh, from the Ministry of Health that have to do with things like uh, unwanted pregnancies. Forget even about the, the masses. Okay. Let's talk about teenagers alone. Uh, uh, teenage pregnancies have now hit a 400,000 mark in this country. Yes. Annually. Like okay. every single year, the statistics show that the earliest age of contact is age nine. Documented. So that's when you start pregnancy. suspecting them officially. No, that's that's what has been documented <laughs> of, of a nine-year-old who is capable of, of, of conceiving and has conceived in this republic. Um, so obviously, you know, I understand where parents come from because you don't want to look at your child and see that this is somebody who is capable of doing this. Because parents are always in denial. Aneza iba, aneza. wachana hata isi vitu za, za IT unasema. Vitu basic, kama wizi. Wizi dani mtu wako aneza iba, sindio? So we don't talk up to them. Ah, about, no, na, na, okay, sir, prudibasi kwa IT. Ah, okay. Wizi imagine mtu wako aneza, hata... Ah, ah, wacha kupea na example na okay. mimi. That's the whole <laughs> point. <laughs> okay, sisi kama wazazi. Yes, yes, yes. Atu takangi kufikiria maneno kama hiyo. So it's, it's not easy. And me, I'm not one of those people who bash and blame parents for this, you know, when the issues go wrong. Be, have you heard me say that? No. Mm -hmm. Because I understand that this is a joint problem. It's a crisis that needs to be, you know, if religious leaders want to preach abstinence, cheers. But not 100% will convert towards abstinence. So what happens to the rest? That's why we're coming through with this proposed uh, agenda. Mm -hmm. And even people like, as you, you're asking why, the celebrities need to take part in this conversation. Media houses like yourself need to articulate this conversation. Journalists need to invest. It should not just be siyasa, 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 siyasa. We have problems as a country. Let's okay. give airtime and allocate uh, airtime to development and, and, and social uh, awareness. Yeah. And you believe in Punguza Kabisa. Now what do you hope to achieve na hiyo Kabisa, Kabisa, Kabisa? Several things actually. Uh, uh, you know, Because unajuna compete initiative. Kama yenu ina compete na akina wa mlambez na nini? Na hizo ngoma zingine wanaimba, yeah. ngoma zao tuwezi sema juni 7.30. As in, <laughs> muna compete na hiyo. What do you hope to achieve? Yo, man. Ama ni campaign to First even about the yaga. music, like hizo mwangomu nasema, don't forget that uh, mziki ni kio cha jamii. So what we sing is what we do. Na wewe ndi wapa mbele ulisema, what mm. you sing is not what you do, it's you see, just showbiz. Th there are two things. So as an artist, you can either reflect or create an agenda. It's, it's like a brand. You decide the direction you want to take. Okay. So yes, uh, you can sing what you believe in yourself. You can sing what you see. It's like uh, the comedian who committed suicide. He was a funny guy, but his life was not funny. I'll leave it at that. But in... Bono, uh, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Sawa. Uh, point ya, point ya, ulu kuna so, uh, point ya, uh, about the, 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 yeah, so, so the music is a reflection of society, which is, yes. it's an indicator. As I'd say the music is an indicator of what is at, where the society is at, and how they're thinking, and what they're talking about, and what they're, you know, they're taking in. So we can either bash those artists, or use it as, 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 as a tangent. To, to chart a direction as a generation. Because but we're, in, we're in a historical opportunity here to decide what's going to be, you know, the future of the next guys who are getting into high school, getting into university, and so on. But that said, Izzy Mangoma Zenye Wasewa Naimba, ni creative, no, Wasewa Nasema, that's the Kenyan sound, yes, I. Mm -hmm. Gengeton, yes. Eh, Gengeton. Mm -hmm. uh, 
what's your standpoint on that one of as in your acceptance in afai kuivo indi ngoma ya sai well there's a difference between a sound and content so the sound is in the beat so genge tone is a beat it's like genge it's like kapuka but what you put in the song you know varies from artist to artist but you know at the end of the day kingori what a hypocritical society we are in because we're the same guys who um uh, mwanza nyege nyege by by diamond right you know we we play it, but when it comes to a kenyan artist the standards are so high why doesn't ezekiel mutua ban nick minaj i am a ban i'm a ban i'm just I'm saying like wa mlambezi na ameban ngoma ya diamond eh yoni kwa sana is that, are those the only songs that that are talking about it which other songs would you like to ban nezam no, I, 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 I don't think that banning is even a solution like I, 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 prove it to me then how banning wa mlambezi is going to stop um, teenage pregnancy please show me how is one lambe is responsible for teenage but he pregnancy? said that it's promoting <laughs> promiscuity so uko so my tweet alisema kwa oh alisema alisema eh na sema hii pornography alisema na hii promoting pro, promiscuity mtu yote amesikia hiyo ngoma akona ball eh so watu wako promiscuous ukisikia wa mlambe zuna to trao hivyo ndo anataka kutuone Unaelewa? But ampendi ampendi Ezekiel Mutua. No ni mse yani atupendi wase watiaji na atupendi <laughs> atupendi wase ambao <laughs> atupendi atupendi kama una kama wewe ni leader umepewa cheo na kula tax money unapewa mshande na serikali come up na solution ya maana you know come up with policy come up with a real solution to easy vitu unasema ngani promise kwa sana okay. eh, kubani hiyo song haita stop wom to hii jo jo atagoogle tu kitu kingine hata kama uki umeitoka kutoka youtube unaelewa okay. na sisi wase tunaelewa hizi ku google kuna vitu mmezesha hata kuliko hiyo wa mlambezi <laughs> kuna vitu hatari hatari we we ama niaje wewe ni kwa specific kidogo hapo <laughs> umse kama kama na jichocha tiende umsha ku ban ban mavitu aba ni internet ai ban tu au au aba unaelewa Okay. Jua tu kiingia kuanganya unaziona. Kwa bao unaziona, kwa place ya mad movie unaiona, kwa place ya PS unaziona. So wewe ungekuwa Ezekiel Mutua unaweza fanya. Sasa atatufungia atatufungia kwa mababols nini? Ah, okay. Sawa. <laughs> wewe ungekuwa Ezekiel Mutua unaweza. Mimi ninge resign ni nifunge hiyo kampuni. Ah. ah. <laughs> Solution. Ah, wewe wewe wewe. Check it, check it. Zizi zizi. Zizi zizi. Zizi zizi. You do you you doing ge kwa health. Ah, ah, solution. You doing ge kwa barabara. You doing ge kwa youth employment. Ama ni aje? Yeah. 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 Yo doing ye kwa kwa financing juma vijana hizi hizi patata loan bila unaelewa kuna vitu nyingi serikali inafai kuangalia si siamini huni mse ana work for government siamini siamini boss ngoja ngoja ngoja, yeah. ngoja. sasa 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 wewe ni Ezekiel Mutua uko na hiyo ofisi what would you do this ndio nakuachana na ku resign okay. you are supposed to provide a solution to damage yenye imekosi damage hmm. if there is any imekosi wana wana na za tu mshande yangu nipe DNG ule atakuwa na dukitu similar atatuye shida ya vijana juu ya atatui ene so when your dawa ya shida za mavijana inaweza kwa mimi inaweza kwa organization nyingine you know any like minded organization or individual yes. who is who is that is coming out with a solution that is practical effective mm. and efficient and that is able to to bring out the expected in outcomes yes. of, of this challenge yes ah uh, let us support Aye. them sawa, and i'm not saying just it must be me anybody is who is willing okay. let them do it sawa sawa final word kwa wase na maboys so young people watching this show parents i think let's let's all hold hands in this national crisis because it is a crisis It would be so unfortunate that year in year out we're waiting for cases examinations and saying you know what oh my god so many number of people are pregnant so many number of people are now not doing the exam so you know let's let's work together follow us we're online uh, punguza ke on facebook instagram and twitter plug into the conversation all our details are there like our telephone number for the office uh, the email address uh, if, if you have a proposal a concept or if you want any co- form of collaboration let's work you know if you are done out there if you are manager of a brand out there you know support us because we want to take this nationwide wazi uh, and thank you very much na please mweducate wase vizuri sana on what contraceptives are mm. unajua wase wengine wazi confuse naona ma vijana wengi wanaenda wana gym squeeze wao watu wanaenda fitness yeah. ndio waze kuruka mimba fiti hiyo <laughs> hiyo hiyo sio fitness hiyo uh, sio <laughs> contraceptives sio ya punguza wapi makofi ya dng <laughs> yes, 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 yes.
Asante sana. Thank you so much. Madam. Asante sana kwa kama show yetu ya leo. Shuka. Alafu vile niliwaambia show yetu ama uh, show the previous episodes zenye mmeona na the few or many more to come uh, Telcom have come on board kama sponsors wa show hiyo ilikuwa inanibamba sana cuz bado ni kitu in a make sense work on the most affordable data, data packages on the inter, on the in the market right now wako ukiwa na 49 bob uko na 500 mb ukiwa na 99 bob uko na 2 gb alafu nilishasema niliuliza swali pale kwa mtandao ya kuja uniambie nikikupea 2 gb ya telcom unaweza fanya nao nini na nakupea for 10 days the most creative ones kama ile ya toet kama ile ya toet na kujengea siku poa sana Ziskume, any of my platforms nitaziona and then to announce the winners vile tumefanya kwa the next episode that's it that's it for the weekend edition see you next week my name is dr kingod